Hello, hello. God bless you. I want to talk about this topic. The Lord pressed it in my spirit to bring this up. All right. If someone has harmed you, someone has hurt your feelings, someone has lied on you, stole from you, rejected you, family members, friends, co-workers, classmates, strangers, whatever. As Christians, we are supposed to what? Forgive them. Amen. That's what you're supposed to do. Because the Bible says that if you don't forgive others, how do you expect God to forgive you? I don't care what they have done to you. Forgive them. Right. So this is where Christians are going wrong. This is what this is what the enemy do to a lot of people. OK, I'm a woman of God, right? Everybody knows I'm a woman of God. They know I'm a Christian. Amen. But as soon as Satan brings a family member around who has lied on me, who was jealous of me, who has stole from me. Amen. The enemy knows that in the enemy, it which. Now, let's say we don't fight against flesh and blood, but he uses humans. Right. So this 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 person that has done wrong to me says to me, you are a Christian. You're supposed to forgive me. And that's what they do. Right. So then you feel somehow like, man, now I got to prove to this person that I'm a Christian. So I got to forgive. So you're like, OK, I forgive you. I forgive you. Yeah. And you're supposed to forgive. Right. But what happens is they get upset when you don't answer the phone for them no more or you are not around them anymore. You're not hanging out with them no more. You're not giving them gifts anymore. They, you're not accepting gifts from them or, you know, you can be cordial around them. When you see them in the store, you say, hello, family reunion. Hello. God bless you. If something happened in your family, you can make a quick call. But who said that you have to go back to normal the way it was? And that's what they'll do. They'll put it in your head, but you, you're not acting the same anymore. You're not, you're not giving me calls that we're not hanging out anymore. What's going on? You're not a true Christian. You're holding grudges. That's what the enemy put in your head. So now you're feeling guilty and you got to keep proving to these people that you are a Christian. Why? Why as Christians do we do that to ourselves? When, when Satan is using this against you, come on. The Bible says that we need wisdom, knowledge and understanding. He didn't call us to be stupid. Come on. Let's keep it real. Now, the enemy know how to use your kindness for weakness. And a lot of Christians, what a lot of Christians do, they see a, 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 a family member or a friend who have gotten kicked out of their home. Are, are, are even a parent kick their kids out of their home and you're over here like, oh, come in, come to my house, come into my house. You can stay with me because I'm a good Christian woman, you know, and then when that person that moved into your house, they done destroyed your whole home because Satan knew how to get to you. You've been pra you've been praying, you've been fasting, you've been living holy. Your family is financially blessed. You and your husband are doing good. Your children are doing good. And then something happens where someone needs to move into your home so Satan can use them to destroy your home. When are we going to get smart? When are we going to be smarter than the enemy tactics? When? When? Now, I'm OK with you accepting people into your home. That's fine. But pray about it first. Ask the Lord first. OK, the Lord says, yes, do it. Make sure you get an answer, though. Now, if the Lord say no, it's a reason why he said no. So then you got to go back to the person, and say the Lord said no. And then the person is like, well, why? You are supposed to be a woman of God. You're not doing you're not doing your love. Your, your neighbor is love yourself. But the enemy is using this person to destroy you. 
trying to talk you into getting back into a relationship with them. When God didn't want you to be in a relationship with them in the beginning. We got to be smart. It's time to wake up because at this point, God is saying a lot of us like we just OK now. They just don't get it. They just don't get it. Who told you that you're supposed to hang around your enemies? Who told you that? So if Jezebel was your friend, you're going to keep hanging around Jezebel? Are you going to keep hanging around Ahab? Huh? If Ahab was your best friend, if Jezebel was your best friend, you didn't realize it that she was a Jezebel. You didn't realize that he was an Ahab, right? So she harmed you. Oh, I forgive you, Jezebel. I forgive you. Yeah, you forgave him, really. In your heart, you really forgave him in your soul, and your mind, right? But who told you that you have to go back to hang out with them again? Who? Who? Nobody told you to do that. You're doing too much. Christians are doing too much. You don't have to prove to nobody that you are a true woman or man of God. Who told you that you have to prove to people? The only person that you supposed to prove to is God. And I know people in the conversation going to go off and some be going to be in disagreement. That's not my business. OK, that's not my, 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 my business at all. My thing is that people need to wake up. People really need to wake up because Satan is using you for your 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 pure heart and your pure mind. But everybody don't have a pure heart and pure mind like you do. It's time to wake up. We got to do better. Don't make no more excuses for Satan because this ain't Satan that's doing this to you. It's your own mind telling you uh, what that's your own mind messing with your discernment. Don't blame nobody else but yourself. Love you. <laughs> Bye.